Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you about gas pressure and volume, also known as Boyle's Law. Okay, and to start off, I'm actually going to start with this diagram, so which I got from the internet, so it's not mine. So I have here uh, several gas molecules, the same number of molecules in both pictures, and the only thing that I'm doing is I'm changing the volume. I'm putting the piston down, and the volume is decreasing. Now, as you can see, the molecules in the second diagram are a little bit more squashed, right? Now, you probably are guessing already that the lower the volume, the higher the pressure, and that is what happens, okay? So basically, this is all that you need to know for this lesson, that as I decrease the volume, my pressure increases, okay? And we are going to see now why. So, before, let me just... Um, remind you that there are several gas laws. The last one we spoke about was that the temperature of a gas increases, the pressure increases, and this is because as the temperature increases, you have the particles to move faster, so they have more kinetic energy, they collide inside the walls of the container more frequently and with more force, which is going to increase the pressure since pressure equals force over area. Now, the same principle applies in this law, which is Boyle's law, okay? Uh, I'll go to the examples in a second, actually. Okay, so let me go in here first. So, now, Boyle's law, as I told you, I am decreasing the volume and I'm therefore increasing the pressure of the gas. This is because the gas particles are going to have less room to move around, so therefore they are going to collide with each other and with the walls of the container more frequently. Again, each force over an area creates a pressure, so pressure increases, okay? So to make sure that I read everything, an example of this is when gas is trapped in a cylinder by a piston. If the piston is pushed in, the gas particles will have less room to move as the volume the gas occupies has been decreased. This increases the pressure, okay? Now, going back up, because I should have actually changed how this works. This is a great example of the everyday life of Boyle's law or gas pressure, okay, with to do with volume. So in this picture, in this video, you're going to have a guy that has a crisp bags, you know, the bags of crisps that you complain they are always empty, that, you know, lots of space could be used for the crisps and actually is not being used. Now you're going to see why. So the guy is starting his, his journey uh, lower down, um, so in a place with not a very high altitude, where the gas pressure is quite, or is higher than higher up because you have more air molecules on top of him. Then he goes up a peak, up a mountain, and the gas pressure there is lower because there are less air molecules. So as you already know from my other video to do with gas pressure and temperature, if the pressure inside is going to be bigger than the pressure outside, then what is going to happen is that um, the, um, the, the container is going to explode. If the other case happens, if the pressure outside is bigger than inside, the container will implode. Now you can imagine if my bags of crisps couldn't be any fuller at lower altitudes when the, the pressure in the air is quite high, then the bag of crisps, once it would go up, as you can see in the video, would explode because, you know, lower pressure outside than in the inside, then the pressure would be too much in the bag of crisps and it would explode. So here you have, now you know why the bags of crisps are going to be something that looks like they don't have many crisps inside, okay? So check the video, I'll put the link in the description. And then finally, I told you about this thing about Boyle's Law. So here it is, Boyle's Law, with a formula, okay? So as a pressure is applied to a piston, and if this pressure is doubled, the volume inside the cylinder is halved. So it's not that one increases and the other decreases. They actually have an inversely proportional um, relationship between these two variables, okay? Now, this happens provided that the temperature in Kelvin is constant, okay? Now... This is provided the temperature in, uh, is constant. Kelvin is just the scale that we use for physics when we're talking about gases, okay? Now, because the volume has decreased, the particles will collide more frequently with the walls of the container. Each time they collide with the walls, they exert a force on the container and on each particle if they are colliding with each other. So more collisions mean more force over a certain area, so pressure will increase, okay? This is the formula. The initial pressure in Pascal times the initial volume in meters cubed equal to the 
Final pressure in Pascal times the final volume in meters cubed. This means that the pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to its volume, and this is how it looks like if you make um, a graph, okay? Here, this is the best graph that I could find on the internet, so it's not mine. It doesn't have units, so the graph should have units, but this is Boyle's law, okay? So this is how the graph should look like, and again, all that you may need to do in an exercise is they give you the initial pressures and volumes, final pressure, probably they ask you what the volume is, or any of these things. You know the formula, you just move around the variables, okay? So that is all for today in terms of Boyle's Law. Up to my next video, be happy and healthy. Bye!